hi and welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is brianna hightower and in today's video i'm going to be taking you guys through a refrigerator um basically declutter and full clean but also on a budget i've been wanting to do this for a while um and so i'm just going to cut right to the chase and show you guys what my fridge currently looks like um what i'm doing to prep it for this declutter and organization and then we're going to go ahead and jump right into it guys do not forget to please like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel so you never miss a video from me super excited to do this for you guys especially doing it um on a budget because some of the videos that I watched, like, were just, like, the container store is so expensive, y'all. Like, I just want to really, like, talk about that for a sec. The container store is so expensive. And I'm, I was so glad I was able to find so many bins and a way to really organize my fridge from home goods. Um, and so, yeah, I probably definitely spent under half of what um, you would spend at the container store. So definitely recommend home goods if you're looking to do a complete fridge declutter and organization. Home goods is going to be way cheaper for you. And as you guys are going to see, they had all the bins that I need. There was maybe one or two that they didn't have that I would need to go to the container store for. All right, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay guys, so I am going to start out by just cleaning everything out of my fridge, everything off of the shelves, everything off of all of the drawers within the fridge. And then I'm going to just clean my fridge out like I typically would. So I typically just use Clorox wipes all throughout my fridge. Sometimes I have to pull out um, like a, a scratch pad if I have anything sticky, but typically the Clorox wipes do the job. So after you take everything out of your, like, I don't know really what to call these, your condiment holders, but whatever part holds your condiments, you're definitely going to want to take this out, clean it. I recommend just cleaning your whole fridge before you organize. What's the point of organizing everything if the fridge is not actually cleaned out? So I'm just going to go ahead and pop all of these out and then just clean them fully. Okay, so now that these are wiped out, I'm gonna go ahead and remove everything from the actual bulk of the fridge area. Same as the sides, we're gonna remove everything, throw away all the stuff that is just in here that honestly has gone bad or I'm just not using, and then gonna go ahead and clean all of this out. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so now that I have my refrigerator completely cleaned out, um, took some of my big pieces over to the um, sink, and I went ahead and cleaned them out in the sink, wiped everything down with Clorox wipes, good to go on the cleaning aspect. So I just want to show you guys some of the bins that I am going to be using. Again, I got all of these bins for the refrigerator from Home Goods, um, and all of these bins, I think the most expensive bin was six dollars um i paid three dollars for these bins 
I was just saying, yeah, $3.99 for these bins. And my, my big bins were still only $6. So very, very good. And those are the bins I'm going to be using. Um, we also got my berry holder. It is a berry holding bin. Um, this was $6. And then the other different types of things I got was an egg holder. And this egg holder, which I think is really nifty, was $5.99. So those are the bins we're going to be using. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I'm going to be kind of laying out things that are going to go in these bins. turned out so just to take you through some of the things so my side drawers like are kind of pretty much the same you can see organized these are all kind of um things that i use to cook so like my different vinegars um my oils my rice water things yeah soy sauce things like that then we move into all of our dressings and condiments same over here extra dressings this shelf is like always pretty empty. I just don't have really anything to put there. Some extras down there. Now, the way that I kind of did my organization in here um, was so uh, down here we have more of our produce. So we have our different types of berries right in here. And it has a little lid like I showed you guys that goes over top of it. You can open and close. In the back we have um, it's another little bin and it has my things that are bagged. So my onions that I had already cut and I always make sure your onions are always like in something enclosed. Don't just have onions like sitting in your refrigerator because they let off different toxins that can um, just like really mess with the rest of the food. So I have my onions which are bagged and my peppers which are bagged and then here is it looks kind of empty but we always have these bags of apples. Um, I just haven't like I'm going to have to go get some this weekend but we pretty much always have those. Um, the next up I have um, what is my rest of my fruits. So typically we always have some kiwi and some avocado. And then the left is any of the extra produce I have, which I have some tomato. This is really deep. It goes really far back. So I, right now I just have some tomatoes and my potatoes that I'll be using for dinner tonight. Down in there. Moving on up. So here's where I keep my meat, which I don't have much meat right now. So I just have um, some sausage in there. And then um, some extra tortillas that I had. 
So, because most of my meat is down in my freezer down below. But, um, like, we ran out of bacon this morning. I typically keep bacon in that drawer over there. Um, the drawer to the right is my cheese drawer. All my different cheeses. My, you know, regular, like, sliced cheese. And then we have these little cheeses I put in our lunches. Um, and then all my cheeses, like mozzarella, parmesan, and then cheddar that I use for cooking. So that's my cheese drawer. And then up where these things really came in handy, you guys. So moving up a bit. So, okay. Moving up, um, we always have yogurt in our house. It's like a staple. This is what I eat like throughout the week for breakfast. So I got a nice cute little bin where I can just pull my yogurt in and out. It just looks so much better. As I said earlier, I usually just have the yogurt box just kind of in there. So my fridge is yelling at me to close it. <laughs> um, we have drinks right here. We have a little bit of margarita mix and then we have our orange juices and our milks. This is typically all the drinks we have in the house. Our water comes from our refrigerator. Um, we don't really buy sodas or things like that, but if we had other drinks, I would just kind of probably put them here, but yeah. Um, and then this bin is kind of like my miscellaneous bin of things that go in the refrigerator. So we have like some half and half, a little V8, some extra sauce I didn't use, apple cider vinegar, garlic, sour cream, and then whipped cream that I use for my coffee. So I just like to kind of slide it in and out, grab what you want, and put it back. Um, and then up top, we are working... So up top, um, so right here, this is my eggs. What I like about where I showed you guys where I put the eggs is it's flat on top. So I'm able to store things on top of this too without hurting the egg, which I really like. So right now I have two wine bottles that are on top of there. And then this bin, again, really nifty. You can just, have, actually has a handle you can just pull out and then pull back, push back in. This drawer, that is going to be, um, I have some egg whites and then butter. So all my butter is right here. This is, I just put this sandwich in here. I'm actually about to eat this sandwich, but I put it in here. This is where I put my leftover food. So really important. I feel like something a lot of um, people that do this video leave out. Like I always wonder, where do you put your leftovers? Because I don't know about y'all, but like I pretty much always have leftovers and, you know, for lunches the next day and so on and so forth. I guess not everybody does, but I have leftovers. So I, I definitely left a space to put my leftovers right over there. So okay guys, I hope that this video was helpful for you. Maybe gave you some ideas of how you can clean up that refrigerator without spending a crazy ton of money. Um, and one thing that I also just really want to make very clear with this video is, and I hope that you saw it from my refrigerator, is please don't feel like your fridge just needs to look like this completely perfect. Like literally every single thing is in a little bin or container. Please don't think that you have to be like that, okay guys? I really do think some people, um, if you're really that organized, amazing, but I do think some people do it for show. It's okay, sometimes you're gonna just like put something in there, but do your best to keep it organized. Um, that's why like I love my little miscellaneous bin. It looks better than just throwing things in there, having a little bin that you know is for like the kind of little random things that do need to be refrigerated. So again, don't think every single thing, like you guys saw my cheese drawer. I don't have a, like individual drawers within the cheese drawer. My cheese just goes in that drawer. Um, I hope that makes sense. So don't feel pressured to be perfect just try to be the best that you can be and be as organized as you and your family can be and what works for you guys so okay thanks so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye